Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am working on week 17 in my 2023 Project Life album. Um, I'm using the May uh, documenter kit from Studio Calico. I did film this a couple of weeks ago and I just literally haven't had time to sit down and do the voiceover. So uh, I might be, I might have to catch up a little bit. I can't quite remember what I did. Um, this is obviously like May is kind of a springy, like adventure kind of kit, which isn't necessarily translating to um, this particular week uh, in my project life, uh, which was definitely, it started to get a little bit colder. There's a lot of kind of blue in my photos. And so I'm really just going to kind of try and pull that out of the cards. Now I started with a fairly blank uh, four by six for my title card uh, because the alpha that came in this kit uh, weren't like stickers or anything they were kind of um, die cut alphas so I thought that they might make like a fun template to do some stitching uh, I don't think I've done any stitching uh, in my album so far in fact I, I may not have done any this year at all so I wanted to do a little bit uh, for this spread just because I'm going to keep everything else pretty simple. I'm not even going to add any journaling this week. It was a fairly ordinary kind of self-explanatory week photo wise. Uh, so I did grab this kind of filler card. I thought it was a fun opportunity to use some of these puffy stickers. They're kind of, I don't know, little starburst stickers. I wasn't sure how I was ever going to use them otherwise. So I'm going to fill up every single one of the same kind of starbursty shape on the three by four card with one of the stickers, like picking as close a color as I can. Not all of the colors are actually in those stickers. So I just picked the closest and it doesn't kind of translate particularly well on camera, but I kind of love the texture in real life. You don't even really notice that the stickers are there until you actually look at them and see that it's raised. So that was kind of a fun, uh, fun little experiment. So with some of the other cards, I picked out um, some of, like I said, the blue tones. So this one here it had a sentiment on it. It wasn't kind of relevant at all. So I've used my photo to cover up as much as I can. And then uh, there was still like a little bit kind of peeking out the bottom. And I just used one of the label stickers to kind of cover that up and then add a stamp. Uh, and there's this kind of... I don't know, the, the pictures on the washi almost look like bandanas, like bandana kind of prints, but it's all in multiple colors. Um, it's not, not a super favorite, but I'm just going to add a little bit kind of to make this uh, photo label stamp combo here look like a little bit more of a cluster. I wasn't like 100% loving this kit. Uh, some of the embellishments just weren't to my taste, so... I'm just going to do my best to use them as I can. Uh, like I said, I've got it. I want to just use what I can. So adding those little pieces of washi tape brought in a little bit more color. So a little bit of that kind of golden tone from my coffee photo and then just a bit of texture with the blue. Now I'm not going to do anything to that polka dot card because it's got a fun sentiment that fit my photo underneath it perfectly. So adhering the photo down is literally all I'm going to do. Uh, the coffee photo, I'm just going to add a little sticker of some sort to here, I think. Uh, I loved the kind of swirl. It definitely didn't... Um, it didn't kind of go with the rest of my color scheme, but it was like too perfect a uh, card to go with the coffee. It just looked exactly like a kind of coffee swirl. Lovely warm colors. It was really pretty. So I covered up again, covering up the sentiment with of the circle sticker with another one of those label stickers. So thank goodness for the label stickers. They are the heroes of this kit for me, covering up all of those non-applicable um, sentiments for me. I'm just going to add another one of the stamps in there. So yeah, like I said, everything's just going to be kept really simple uh, because I know I'm going to have a reasonable amount of work to do here to get this title card all stitched up. So I'm going to just measure, I want to punch um, 
like punch the holes I'm going to end up punching them from the back so that I can use the letters um, and trace around the edge of them with a pencil so I just measured the front because I want the alphas to kind of sit on one of the lines so I've just measured that out and I'm going to line these up and just trace around them from the back so each one I'm going to trace around just with pencil I guess if you kind of wanted to glue them down you wouldn't have to do the pencil part uh, I'm just wanting to reuse some of these alphas. I was going to like just use the alpha part uh, and there are two E's so I definitely could have but the the colors that those alphas are were weird and two of them were the same color. It just looked strange so I decided to kind of um, like make the whole thing a little bit more cohesive with the stitching. So once I've done the pencil outline, I just use a drawing pin and a foam mat, punch all the holes, and then get to stitching. So the stitching to take a little bit of time. I'm just using, I end up using a couple of different um, colored embroidery flosses, and I've split those uh, six strands into three. So I'm only using three strands for stitching. Uh, it just makes it a little bit lighter. It's definitely easier to get it through the holes. And basically, I just put something on my computer to watch and then go ahead and stitch. So I think all up, it probably took me 15 minutes maybe to stitch all of that. Um, I love the texture though, and I love the way it kind of pulls in those extra colors. Now I did need some numbers though for my week and I went through my alphas to try and find something in that kind of more golden kind of color range. I found some really old ones from Rosie Studios that just happened to have the right numbers in the right colors. I always struggle with those kind of multi-colored alpha sets but luckily I had a 17 in the same colors. I'm just going to date stamp directly underneath that stitching and call this week all done. So apart from the stitching time, it was a pretty simple week to put together and actually I don't mind the stitching, I find it kind of a little bit meditative to just sit there. Hey, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, I'm going to leave a couple of videos on screen, otherwise I'll see you again soon. Bye!